don't listen to blinded critics that is those critics who criticize other people who have had spiritual or superconscious experiences i have seen a lot of videos all over the internet where you get young people who think they are just too smart and they criticize spiritual people that is famous spiritual people who have attained a high level of superconscious experience and these guys do it just to make money from their respective channels but criticism can only be done with proper understanding and knowledge not with blind statements because superconsciousness or experience in the subconscious mind is a real art and it has been done for thousands and thousands of years by all cultures all around the world and as a human being they value that experience <clears throat> for various reasons one is it relieves them from the daily stress or their daily attachments to problems or the daily psychological issues their running wandering mind and a lot of factors are there so this experience can be called in many names god nirvana brahman universal and one with the universe there are so many ways of calling this experience but this experience is real anyone can experience it and anyone who experiences it will have a satisfying life and will rate that experience as the most enjoyable silent and the most let's say welcoming experience of the human mind but you will experience it it transcends all experiences of like being the richest man in the world or having you know relationships everything it just transcends that's why people give up everything and even go and renounce the world to go and experience that experience so there is a truth in that there is a value in that so we should respect that not blindly go and criticize those people because man without that experience might end up becoming a savage where many people in the world are such barbarians and people going behind the spiritual leaders and going and trying to understand what they experience they're not doing things bad they're actually helping themselves and helping others it's much better than a person just wildly going behind power social status and money and you name it what not those minds are most of the time not friendly they corrupt or they're just money minded where they just do everything with the f- intention of making money that's how the world is structured and you got to clearly understand any any spiritual organization cannot exist without generating income so there's no harm in that i mean income doesn't come from the superconscious it comes from the people who share the money so the public giving donations money coming from online work you know from the websites everything is all good i mean it's an organization they got to fund they got to keep it clean they got to pay people to work there and all that is there we got to understand all of that now we should not criticize these people because no matter what religion they come from they are helping society and society is calm to a certain extent and they're quiet and they live their lives based on their own beliefs but it keeps them going so we should always encourage that rather than cutting those belief systems off point of views are always different you know one scientist will have a different point of view from another scientist similarly every religious aspirant because every experience of spirituality is unique to oneself for a hundred people those hundred people will have unique different separate spiritual experiences therefore no one can say 
that one person experience is higher than another or one person's experience is right and another is wrong. But still, the human society is still learning. Sit and understand this power of experience which is beyond their social or beyond their perception of their senses, beyond the sight, taste, smell. The experience takes them beyond that. So, and they cannot see it as a reality. It's a more of a mental creation which becomes a reality. Therefore, we should encourage everyone to try to understand this experience. Anyone can come up with their own philosophy. That does not matter. But keep that experience and the philosophy themselves. They're teaching someone, they can share it, like what I'm doing. But you don't want to hurt people trying to share your experience and saying that you're right and others is wrong. No, everyone is right. As long as they're satisfied with their conscious experience, they are right. Actions, well, that's up to them. They should have moral values to act responsibly. Therefore, the value system is a common law which everyone should know. The experience is just an experience. So, let us all practice and spread the word of these superconscious experiences. No matter what name you call it, meditation, yoga, prayer, surrender, it does not matter. But all after some sort of experience which transcends their body and their mind and they feel connected more to their selves and to the universe around them which they call God. So let us all encourage the practice of prayer, concentration and meditation. Let us all be happy. Thank you.